and we're here to celebrate the International Girl Child's Day and to build the girl child to become the woman they want to be, being our team for this year, 2022. And we've had an amazing time with 
young girls, enlightening them on the need for menstrual hygiene, enlightening them on the need for becoming the woman they want to be by nurturing their dreams. And it has been an exciting and educating time with them. And we look forward to another season. Thank you. I want to really appreciate uh, this organization, NGO, Ray of Hope uh, Empowerment Foundation for singling out this day to come in order to celebrate the International Day of a Girl Child. We thank them so much for doing this. Our children, they were so excited when things were given to them. And this is exactly what they need because some of them, they use other things for their menses. But today, they were trained and they were taught on how to take care of themselves. So I really want to thank this organization. I know that Almighty God will surely bless them and will replenish their purse for what they have done to these our girls. I pray that they should continue and uh, God Almighty will give them money to continue to touch other lives because that is what they need now. Thank you so much. God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Obiojisi Sylvia Chinaza. I was the former president of Girls Child International Day. Today is International Day for the Girl Child and I appreciate all foundations who have brought Girl Child some sanitary parts and made them not miss out of school. These are the challenges that um, Girl Child face when they are and their menses. They do not attend school. Some drop out of school due to um, in, in, inadequate um, sufficient of sanitary parts. And I thank the Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation for bringing sanitary parts to students and some other organizations and foundations. I thank them because it's not easy for a foundation to cooperate and bring sanitary parts to students, which are which is important for them. So I thank all foundations, especially Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation for bringing Century Part for the students. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sinkiruka Elechiku. I'm reporting live from Junior Secondary School, Kadokuchi, Abuja. And uh, we are here today, we are members of Ray of Hope International Foundation. We are here today to commemorate International Day of the Gear Child. And our theme for this year is the woman I want to be. And this woman I want to be, we've identified some of the challenges that the gear child face. One of the challenges is early marriage, uh, uh, lack of uh, proper education, and uh, discrimination um, among social, discrimination of social norms in the community. And we are here to say no to some of those things that the woman I want to become, this is our time, this is our future, to say no to early marriage. At three of we say no to early marriage, no to uh, child abuse, no to uh, lack of child education. We are here to encourage the young guests in this school to make sure they stand on their ground, not with disrespect, but with respect. And by so doing, we hope that through this International Day of Gear Child, that the Nigerian guests will be able to let their voice be heard, speak out, voice out what it is, and have self-respect for themselves. So we, today, we say thank you to Ray of Hope for organizing this program. For this program is a rare program that also come to blow the minds of the children because we touch the aspect of menstrual cycle. And in a menstrual cycle, it's one of, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's one of the, the parts that has a global challenge for even the, between the low income and middle income uh, countries, they suffer it. And we say it's very, very essential as a gear child to know how to check their Messes to understand what is menstrual hygiene, to understand the type of part, to know when and when not to expect their messes. So, thank you very much for this, Soviets. Thank you. Today is the day set aside to celebrate every girl child in the world. International Day of the Girl Child. So if you're proud to be a girl, give yourself a call.
I'm sure you're all proud to be girls. Yes. And uh, today is a day when we try to create awareness about what girls face. A lot of girls are facing a lot of things, even from the home, in the society. When you try to be anything, sometimes they try to restrict you and tell you cannot be this because you were a girl. Even in your home, sometimes you find that the boys are treated better than the girls. Am I lying? So, today we're going to be talking about it. And I have with me some beautiful ladies on my right. I have Faith. So, she will do a proper introduction about her. And then the next person with me is a hero in the Chipu. So, I want you to please pay rapt attention to what you're going to be taught today. I promise you, you will leave here with something very fantastic. Please, so that we don't keep you here. Thank you very much. Hello, ladies. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. I can see smile from this side, no smile from this side. What is the problem, my friend? Why are you people not smiling? Today you are celebrating yourself, so you are supposed to be smiling, you are supposed to be you know, doing your shakara. I know that kind of thing. Today is your day. Hello. So this morning, today, as you all know, just noted that today, every 11th of October of each year, we celebrate what we call International Day of the Girl Child. That is what it means that we celebrate the girls. It's not just the girls, today is for the girls. You can see that it's So today, as we say, today our team, this year, we have got a global team. The global team for this year is what we call, according to English, I say, our time is now, our right and our future. Do you understand? Yeah. Your time is now. How do you mean? What do you mean by your time is now? You can see, today is what? Today is Tuesday. You are in school. You have this opportunity to be here now. You learn what you have to learn. This is your time. Anything you try to learn at this phase of life, you may not be able to have the opportunity to learn it again tomorrow because the higher you go, the higher more learning opportunity, not on this level again, but you learn all that is according to your, as your age goes on. So our own team today, our organization is Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation, and our own team for this program is what we call The Woman I Want to Be. In that the woman I want to be, we'll be discussing what we call menstrual hygiene management. If I should ask a question among all of us, what what kind of woman do you want to be? I want to be a woman that can work Oh, give her a round of applause. You can see the hard work. What kind of woman do you want to be? I want to be a woman that me. Yes, I know this thing will happen because now you see what happened now that she wasn't prepared for it. And today we are trying to make you understand that you need to prepare yourself, you need to become who you are supposed to be. What you want to be tomorrow starts now. You don't wait for your parents for that decision. As a girl, you have right to take decision, but with the guidance of your parents. You understand? And when we say menstrual hygiene, what do we mean by menstrual hygiene? Menstrual hygiene is uh, menstrual hygiene management, right? menstrual hygiene, and we have what we call management. Menstrual hygiene management refers to specific rules required for every gay child that is menstruating. And this, some of these specific rules, one of the things that the knowledge, as a gay child menstruating, you should be able to have knowledge of what? Menstruation. Knowledge of menstruation does not just come only when you are menstruating. Even now, when you, if you think you've not reached the age of menstruation, you should be able to know what it is so that when it comes or when it happens, you'll be able to manage yourself properly. And another one is information. Information is key. Information is key. What you learned here today, you might not be able to digest it now. But tomorrow, next tomorrow, as the time goes on, you keep digesting it. You understand? And what needed facilities? What are these needed facilities? The needed facility requires that 
when you are menstruating, what and what, what environment, what does the environment pose for you? What kind of danger does the environment pose for you? Does the environment pose an, uh, uh, does the environment give you enabling opportunity to menstruate like a dear child, to menstruate with comfort, to menstruate with that fear? Have you been found wanting where you are menstruating? You are not even, you are not even sure of yourself because of so many things. How many of us have experienced that? Can you tell me one of the challenges? What makes you feel that way? I will become afraid. Okay, thank you very much. If I should, if you should get her very well, what she meant is that whenever she's menstruating, she becomes afraid and she has this uh, discomfort and psychological stress. These are common things that we find ourselves. Most of these things we do not just develop. Most of these things develop on its own. It has been there. Menstruation is something that has been there for years, right from existence. In fact, around the whole world, women, all women, both young and old, menstruate. You get it? Menstruation is not me and menstruate, you menstruate. Your mom too menstruate, except for those who have gone to the past the level of uh, monopause. You understand? Now, today, one of the things I'm going to discuss about today, poor menstrual hygiene, menstrual hygiene. If I say poor menstrual and menstrual hygiene, it means that some ways we've been managing our places during our menstruation period is not the ideal way. What are these challenges that pose to us during our menses? One of those challenges is what? Lack of water. Believe you me, when you are menstruating, you need water like tomorrow. You need water not just to wash your hands. You need water to wash yourself clean. Am I, am I speaking the truth? Yes. You need water. Water is a necessity. It's a, a, it's very, it's a necessity to every day menstruating. This water goes a long way to help you wash your hands very clean. Because let me tell you, when you are menstruating, as you are changing your path, you need water to wash yourself. We are all guests here. You wash yourself thoroughly. You even need tissue. Because when you don't have tissue, after washing yourself very well, you don't just pull up your pants. If you pull up your pants and wear, the remaining uh, this thing will drain your pants. And from draining your pants, it will go a long way to stain your clothes. Is it what you want? So what it means that water is very, very essential. And another problem we face when menstruating is what? Lack of access to facilities like toilets. Let me put it in this school now. I believe your school has, I don't look into the environment of your school, your school has a toilet. How neat is this toilet? How neat is this toilet? Whether it's neat or not, it's your responsibility to make it clean. You don't wait for your teachers to make it clean. Why do I say so? It's you, 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 you that make use of those toilets. And when the toilet is not clean, you can't go there to begin to change your part and the rest of that. Now, a lot of us menstruate. One of the problems we have too is that lack of access to menstrual pad. And this lack of access to menstrual pad is what a lot of people are facing today. Because menstrual pad is very, very what expensive. But in as much as it's expensive, you should place higher priority to it. I know some of you must have maybe Android phone. If you have a if a money money is being given to you to buy uh, data for your phone and you don't have pad. No matter whom you want to call, no matter the level of chat you want to put up to. Buying a fat and buying a data, which one will you prefer most? Yeah. Which one will you prefer most? Yeah. Best to tell you, in buying that fat, you are not preparing yourself towards your menstrual cycle. Are you getting it? Yeah. Because the fat, you know, when you put on the fat, it makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel how when yourself feel, oh, I'm good. Mm. When you don't have that part to put in this blood flowing from the little, how are you going to feel? You begin to feel uncomfortable. You believe that the absence of part can make you not to come to school. You understand? Some person who do not come to school, not because they choose to, but they do not come to school because they don't have maybe that very moment as they are dressing for school. Their mess is just clean. And because they do not prepare for it, they cannot be able to work, hide themselves properly, and come to school. They end up not coming to school for that very day. And maybe they don't even have plan of procuring pad. Am I speaking the truth? Yes. How many of you have faced similar challenges before? If you are facing, please raise up your hand. How many of you 
have missed school as a result of not having your having uh, as a result of messes, either menstrual part, uh, menstrual part, pain. pain. Some person during their messes, they have uh, irregular pains. Some of those things they are natural. It's, it's not something you can do. It's, it's just natural. You, you have to manage it. With time. How many of you have faced such? Nobody has faced such. If everybody here, you may do menstruate. Who among you here have never menstruated? Don't be shy, just raise up your hand because whatever information you are getting today, if you have not menstruated before, it goes a long way to prepare you for tomorrow. Some of us start menstruating, we can't even know you what and what it entails. And today, we are for foundation, we are here to promote what? We are here to promote menstrual hygiene management. And how do you promote this thing? We want to let you know that we have we have about two and we have types of pads. We have what we call reusable pad. Do you know what is reusable pad? Yeah. Reusable pad is like pad, like product, like always, lady care, soft care, and so on. I know some persons use napkin during their messes. Napkin is like cut a piece of cloth. It's fine, but it's not hygienic. This is what you mean by reusable pad. It can be of any product. As you do, everybody, do you know how to place your pad? Yes. You know how to place your pad very well. Not the way you be. Because not the way you be walking. You start letting that your pad has, the position has shifted. You start looking for a comfort place to readjust it. Because we are going to also show you for the for the purpose of those who may not have gotten it right on how to place your pad. We are going to demonstrate to you how you place your pad. Please pay very very good attention to this. Okay, if you say you know how to place it, come on. Can one person come and demonstrate? One other person can come. Somebody said. Don't say Jesus, this is our day. Be proud of you. Clap Can I show you? Yes, yeah, show them. Let's <laughs> do the same thing. First and foremost, you put on your pants. Put on your pants. Please pay attention. This is very, very important. Okay. And you see what she's doing? Fun, fun. For you to put, put up your put wear your pants, not to wear it to the eyes. You wear it up to your knee. You bring out a sanitary pad. You first remove the first layer of it. Then you remove the other layer that will come to your pants and you place it. Can you see it? Yeah. I think your first can see it very well, like this at home. Please make sure you wear your pad right so that everywhere you are, you feel comfortable in your pad. So please, can you show them how to wear pants? Wear pants. Thank you very much, my sister. Where you want to wear your pad? Yes, you can do that. that you like so now. you now open the place that is done. The university. Oh, can you see what she's doing? Yeah. What she's doing is also right, but I will advise you don't maintain this style. Do what she did. That is the best way to wear your pad. If you do what, she, what she's doing, the second person is doing, the danger is this at the end of the day, the pad will move to another position while the the messes will, will stay your pad. Do you want your pad to be stained? So the right way is for you to wear it to your leg, wear it up to your knee, remove the layer that will go to your to your pad, remove the side, and then what glue it beneath. As you glue it beneath, you'll be able to wear it uh, properly. And when you wear the pants, you, you like do like a shake up. See whether it's gummy somewhere. If it's not gummy, if it's very comfortable, you can easily tell. Thank you very much. So, today we also promote what we call menstrual hygiene. In promotion of... Can you go back? 
back to your lines? Can you go back to your lines? Today, that is International Day of Gay Child. One of the things you are promoting is what? Cleanliness. What did I say? Wash your pants after as in cover as you use you wash. You know, some I hope you don't pile up your pants because if you pile up your pants, the danger is that as your messes come, you might run out of pants. You know, in some cases, you can have pad and you don't have pants to use it. Yes. What do you do? It becomes a challenge. You cannot wear only pad, you need pants to wear pad. You see, two of them must go together with pants and no pad. It cannot go. Then another one is street hand washing. As you're in school now, some of you are menstruating already. What are your plans for during this for your menstruation? When you go to change your pad, what do you do? Do you just go to change your pad and come after you have used your hand to touch so many things? Now, you, just, you don't just wash it, you wash it with soap so that you wash up whatever bacteria that have glued to your pan. As you wash it, you will be able to change your pad. You put a new pad. And when you put a new pad, what do you do? You wash your hand again. And in changing this pad, tissue, make sure tissue, tissue is also close by for you. And again, how do you dispose your pad? It's not, it's not yeah, ideal. Yeah, Let me tell you, the best way to even dispose pads, though some persons feel as if it's not, they don't like it. The best way to, to dispose pads is to wash off the blood. You open the pad, that got in inside, you wash off the blood. If you want, after washing it, you keep it to dry, you burn it. That is one. Another way where you don't have access to wash. If there is a way you can keep it to dry, you burn it into ashes. Because throwing your pad, and the uh, used pad, into what does mean and the rest of that, it constitutes a lot of waste problem. You see, during this rainy season, er uh, uh, not these erosions, some of you, maybe after school, on your way to your home, you mistakenly step your foot in one of these uh, rain water. You don't know what the water can do. By so doing, you get it to contact the water. So, henceforth, dispose your pad was properly. And when you remove your pad, you need to wrap it with tissue. When you wrap it with tissue, it goes a long way to do it, to protect that you are doing the right thing. So, today, And this is what we are going here to do today. So it is very essential for you to put all this money into what practice. As we are wrapping up this session, thank you very much. I will be doing some distribution of what pad. In this distribution of pad, please, we are giving you with from our heart and take it, cherish it what from your own heart. I tell you today, pad is very very what a space. See, please keep it very well. And know how many of you know your menstrual cycle? Another problem. This is another major problem. You wait. You don't even know the day your menses is coming. Overnight, you just see blood on your pants. It's not a good thing. You should know. Some of us have what? 24 days. This is the chart. Menstrual chart. Your teachers know it, and I believe as our mom is here today, she's also going to maybe do you more enlightenment you for you. For we can leave it. You know what I want to we will leave it with your teacher. So, can you see it? So, the teacher celebrates more during one of the classes. Okay. Hello. Some of us here today, maybe at times you see your messes this month and next month you will not see your messes. I think in most cases, instead of it to flow for four days, my seat only two days, you will not see it again. It's not because you are wayward, no. At times our body system also goes a long way to bring that challenge. Uh, and again, because you are just starting for the first time, for the first year, your, your system, your body system has not really adjusted to that level of seamless. With time, it will balance. But if such continue, please share the knowledge with your parents or your guidance. It goes a long way. And one of the things we are doing here today, we want to know how do you want to be 
become the woman you want to become. One of the ways you become the woman you want to become is what? To be what? Self-confidence. Self-confidence. And love yourself. See yourself best before anything. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I thought we can we'll be talking more on this. Let me give the next day to my fellow colleagues. Hello young girls. Hi. How are you all doing today? Hi. Who remembers my name? Yes. What's my name? Yes. Okay, my name is Faith and today I'll be talking about the woman I want to be. What's the topic on? The woman I want to be. And what are we celebrating today? Girl Day. International Girl Child Day. So I remember being like you before, eight years ago, like an international um, girl child day like this, and I was representing my school, and today, now I'm still speaking with young girls. Celebrate yourself now. Are you not proud to be a woman? You're proud to be a woman, right? So today I'll be talking about the woman I want to be. What am I talking about? The woman. So, um, growing up from being a girl child to becoming a woman is a stage that needs to be nurtured. And when I mean, please listen, I'll ask question. It's a stage that needs to be nurtured. And when I mean nurtured, it shouldn't be something you should toy with. Do you understand? You groom it just the way if you are, if maybe mom sends you to go and get eggs now. Will you be running with the eggs? Would the egg break? Now you should see yourself as you are in that stage that needs to be nurtured to becoming a woman. I'm sure you all have role models, right? You all have people you look up to. You admire them. You like how they are today. Those people were once like you. They once had a stage like you. And that is why Rohev is here to build you up to becoming that woman you want to be. Hello? Hi. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of you will be asking, so how do I become that woman I want to be? How do I know or what steps should I take to become the woman I am today? Great. So today we'll be talking about what kind of woman do I want to be? valid point is you must be a woman that spreads hope and light and what does that what, do, what does it mean to spread hope and light can anyone tell me what does it mean to spread hope and light you don't know what hope is you are giving courage to another person you are spreading hope you are light when when it, whenever everywhere is dark, do you see anything? No. Everywhere will be dark, you are not seeing anything. But when there is light, you can see clearly, right? Yes. We want you to grow into that woman that spreads hope and light. We want you to grow into that woman that is a beacon of hope, that spreads hope and that spreads light. Another woman we want you to grow into becoming is you must be a woman that is not afraid of trying. When I mean not afraid of trying, uh, you say, okay, today you are all students. Maybe you wrote a particular examination and you'd be like, you fail from that examination and you'd be like, I'm no more doing it again. In fact, I'm not even going to school. School has come. Is that not the normal slogan you're going to say? But you must be the kind of woman that no, I'm not giving up on this phase of life. I'm going to keep trying. There's nobody that has ever died of trying. Do you know why? Whenever you try, you are only empowering yourself to become better. Trying does not kill you. You must never give up. You must keep trying. And that is the woman who wants you to be. Powerful what thing you must know today is you, you must be, be a woman that embrace her self worth and learn the significance of compliments. And when I mean 
embracing the significance of compliment. Are you listening to me? Yes, ma'am. When I mean embracing the significance of compliment, you can look into the mirror and say, oh, I look beautiful today. Regardless of maybe the other person says, this, this my friend is fine, oh. But you must embrace yourself. Be like, nobody is like me. I am unique in my own way. You must embrace self-worth. There's one powerful thing I do most times. Whenever I have, I, I want to encourage myself or build my self-worth, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, that you know, you, you feel lazy to stand up, you stretch like 10 times. Be like, oh, today is school again. This morning I'm going to go to school again. So most times I'll be like, okay, and my other name is Chubi. I'll be like, okay, Chubi, I know you can try again today. I know why you started. I'm talking to myself. Do you know that you can talk to yourself? Yes. On your own, you can say, oh, I know why I started this. I know why I'm going to read very well for this exam. I know why I'm going to be dedicated or committed to this. Because I want to pass. And that is why you must embrace self-worth. Nobody is like you. Nobody is like you. You are unique in your own way. Regardless of your skin color, regardless of your background, regardless of your status, regardless of your ethnic group, you are unique. And another thing I want you to know, you must be the kind of woman that brings honor to your family, honor to your cycle, honor to your society. You know, the, with the society we live in right now is, will I say, it's corrupt, right? It's corrupt. A lot of girls want to do things that are not right. You all know what is good and you all know what is bad. Because we are in that, like I said initially, we are in a state that needs to be nurtured to becoming a woman. Yeah. Because you are doing it doesn't mean you should do it. What worked for A might not work for B. What A did that escaped with it might ruin B. So you must be conscious of your circle. Be conscious of your circle. Bring honor to your family. Bring honor to your society. Bring honor to your teachers because they are investing in you. You know that. They are investing in you and you shouldn't take it for granted. Then, another thing, the roles you have to play in the becoming the woman you desire. You don't just sit at home. You don't just sit in your classroom and fold your hands and say, Huh? I will reach that stage and I will be a woman. I will have children. I will, I will, I will, be, I will be a working class woman and all of that. There are roles you need to play. And one of which is clarity. When I mean clarity, who knows what, I, what I'm talking about? Clarity. You are being specific on what you want. You are being specific on what you want to achieve as well. And there's one way to gain clarity. Write down your goals. How many of you have journals? You, or you have a book that sometimes you, you, don't, you don't want to talk to anybody, but you want to write down how you feel about yourself and your future. How many of you do that? I do that often. And now, clarity will help you to navigate. Clarity will help you to find the right track. At least sometimes I'll, I'll go back to where I wrote the kind of woman I want to be. And I'll be like, okay, even if this journey is tough right now, I already have know where I'm going. That is clarity. Writing down your goals. What do I want to be? A few years from now, what kind of life do I desire? A few years from now, what kind of life do I want to become and all of that? Hello? Are you with me? Yes. Clarity will help you navigate. Personally, my, how I also use my clarity to navigate through my path to becoming a woman, I use the power of vision board. How many of you know vision board? I'm sure most of you don't know vision board. Aside writing down my goals, I also do a pictorial view of what I desire. If you come, like in my room, I carved out images, pictorial images of what I want to become. If maybe in two years time I want to have a business in maybe the fashion industry, 
I look for pictures of that line and I paste it on a board. It must, necess it must not necessarily be a board or something. Just paste a pictorial view of what you really imagine. And that will, yes, or a stick on writing down what you want to become. And that will help you navigate. So because of our time, I want us to practice affirmations, which is the last thing I'll be talking about, affirmations. Affirmations are also the words you say to yourself that builds up your self-worth in becoming a woman. So we're going to say this together. I am proud of the woman I am becoming. I am proud of the woman I am becoming. Say it as if you mean it. I'm proud of the woman I'm becoming. I am capable. I am limitless. I am filled with happiness. I am filled with happiness. Fear cannot stop me. Fear cannot stop me. I give no room to negativity. I give no room to negativity. I see greatness building itself inside of me. I see greatness building inside of me. My baby steps down. My baby steps down. I am evolving. Moving into a woman of value. I am moving into a woman of value. I am intentional. I am intentional. I will win. I will win. And I will shine. And I will shine. Celebrate yourself. Thank you for having me. We love you. We love you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you enjoying what I'm enjoying? Yes, I won't take much of your time. Today, UNICEF theme this day as the future is now our right, our future. The future is now for you, baby. The future is now for you, my dear girl. The future is now for all of us. And if the future is now for us, then we must understand what our rights really mean. What is your right as a girl child? I'm not going to mention most of it. I'll just do two very important ones. Your right, you have right to education. That's one of the paramount rights you have. Right to education. And there are so many things calling for our attention, so many things distracting us from being educated. Right from the domestic um, disturbances to the public and all of it. But I'd like to tell you today that the most important thing in your mouth or the most important word in your mouth should be no no to everything that will distract you from focusing on your education no to anything that will distract you from being a, a full and complete graduate no to anything that will want you want to drop out from from school and then the next thing i want you to talk about is you have right to safety safe environment safe place to stay don't allow anybody threaten you with whatever they want to offer you and say if you don't do this you will not get a good place to sleep or all of that don't allow anybody also push you to um child marriage it's very important that you understand that it is your right to become an adult to go to school and to be that glorious woman you're looking at if they push you into child marriage it will deter you from achieving lots of things on your table so like i said before as a girl the most important word in your mouth should be no no to sexual abuse no to anything that yes any marriage and no to dropping out from school it's very important that you know that you are a girl you are loved you are cherished for us to pick a day to celebrate ourselves it means you are so important you are the bridge to the future you are the bridge to the next generation do not allow anybody get you off balance thank you very much and i love you i love the woman you have become Okay. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maria Mohamed Audi. I'm here on, on behalf of our head boy and our head girl. So I'm here to appreciate what you guys are sharing to us. We are so very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate what you are doing, what you did to us today. We are all happy that we are girls. Are you not happy that you are a girl? So let's give them a tama. A tama. 
la Baco, la Baco, à Paris, Ready to dance, Bossa. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma. And please, we'll be taking group picture. Can you shift back? Let's shift, shift backward. We take group picture. And this group picture for those that are having only pad, you raise your pad. For those that get paper, you raise the paper. Please shift forward so that everybody is valid. Shift, 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 shift back, shift back. to be 